pretty much as soon as I put it together, I took it apart. Um, I was going through, I was just thinking about it. I was like, man, it looks so pretty. Um, the frame has a little bit of rust everywhere, you know, right there, right there, or her, you know, I mean, whatever. The frame, it is what it is. It's going to be like 150 to uh, repowder coat the frame, and that's just not something I want to do. Plus, I already put the motor in there and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm not going to powder coat the frame, but I took everything else apart because I definitely want to powder coat these parts obviously i'm not powder coating this tank or this custom fender my friend made it for me i was like hey chop this fender and uh weld it i could have probably done that but my my buddy my good friend steven he's an amazing welder so he just welded it welded that up for me real fast but um i'm just gonna powder all this like shiny black dude like just uh Real shiny black, give it an, a new look. So, um, and a lot of people, you know, that's like stock. I'm obviously not going to powder that either. Because I don't know what color we're painting this this bike, but it's going to be dope. Um, but yeah, all these little pieces. And also, you're like, where are the forks at? Well, I took the forks apart. Um, so the forks... We're gonna powder these, these also. We're gonna powder them black. And I got a guy, really good deal. He said um, 25 for the bars, about 50 for all the little pieces. Um, and about, I think he said 50 for the four tubes. Might be cheaper than that. But um, I bagged and tagged everything because uh, I don't wanna be. It takes a little longer to do this, but it saves you um, a lot of time in the long run because um you're not guessing what, what is what so i did that and then um let's see what else i gotta do if y'all remember i had to kick this um off because they welded it to the other frame because i guess the bolt broke and they were lazy or something so we're just gonna clean this up i got a uh um a grinder my angle grinder and uh yeah, I'll do that. And then these fools, I don't know what to do. This guy's bent. This is for the brake. If you, can you see how bent it is? Um, it's going to be a pain in the butt to rebend that because it's so short and thick. Look how thick that is. So, uh, And you put heat in it and bend it back, but I just might buy new ones because I don't think I want to use um, these pegs. They're kind of ugly. So... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, now I got to wait for for powder, which it's going to be sent off Monday or Tuesday. Um, we've got a guy that comes to the shop, and he picks up everything we, need, he, we want to get powdered. And he is amazing. He is, like, one of the best powder coaters ever, like, for real. He is so good. Um, so pretty much blacking it out. Um keeping the motor chromey I, I think it's a good contrast like not completely blacked out like chrome chromey like front wheel chromey rear wheel and then like the motor's chrome but then everything else is black you know and then just kind of have like that chrome and i'm probably gonna use this cap right here i think i like that it's old school old school like harley cap looks pretty sweet um and that is it for this build. So this build is going to um, kind of be at a, like a stop, stopping point. But also not really because I have to um, completely redo this wiring harness, clean it up, and make it look pretty. Because the uh, last thing you want to see is a disgusting uh, wiring harness hanging everywhere. So I'm going to try to figure out what kind of... Um, wrap I can put on that on the harness so it looks clean um, and yeah try to hide everything maybe peel this sticker off It'd be cool to like maybe paint that black who knows I might it's kind of like I might paint it but I'm scared I scared to paint it because if uh, you leak some whatever on it it's gonna f 
bugger up your uh, your paint job. So, and obviously we're gonna go black on the on the oil filter. Or should I stay chrome? Nah, I think I'm staying chrome. Chrome won't get you home, but it will probably still not even get you laid. So, depends on how you look. Anyway, um, yeah, cool, dude. I'm so excited. Oh, and I got the carb. Um, I got the, I got a new carb for it because I put the carb that was off this bike onto that blue one over there, that that blue bike over there. So, and there's my beautiful car. I love it. Look how pretty. So pretty. <clears throat> But, eh, I think I'm just rambling now. That's it, dude. Peace out. Um, Subscribe if you want. And uh, leave comments. This bike's going to be dope. Peace.